We are here in Yender, in the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Area of New South Wales. Farmer Craig Bartney is planning with his Horwood Bagshaw Scarabar that's fitted with the Ryan MT Retrofit double discs. Craig is enjoying the results from swapping his point system over to discs and has been using the system for around seven planting seasons now. I love it when you go through a bit of trash and you look down there, it's just doing a really nice job. There's no balls of trash, it's just doing what they're designed to do. I love that. G'day Craig, thanks for your time today. Tell us how you got on with the Ryan discs. Yeah, been really happy with them actually. Um, obviously used to be tines and uh, saw these at a probably handy field day there one day. Uh, like principle and uh, the ability to handle the trash. Um, the, the cheap way of getting into a disc of cedar I saw. Um, I think they were 600 odd bucks a gang at the time, remember? So it wasn't a huge expense to convert the air cedar over to discs. Uh, yeah, so surprised how much they can handle actually. It's, yeah, they, they go through some wild weed if you've been a bit lazy in the summer. And, um, yeah, they obviously handle trash really well. Um, yeah, being really happy with it. Craig, have the discs eliminated your blocking issues? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one year, a few years back, I um, had burnt rice stubble that I was trying to direct drill into, and it was pretty wet out there. Normally, well, a uh, tine, there's this zero chance of a tine machine sewing into it. Um, the press wheels I got on the back uh, were just blocking up with mud, but not a single disc, uh, not a single row blocked up with his uh, system the way you've got the, the sewing tube in the front of the, the axle. Um, perfect rows uh, on establishment and uh, yeah, it was couldn't believe the, the conditions I was going into. The tractor was sort of slipping and sliding, was still getting the seed just where I wanted it and uh, yeah, it did the job. In seven seasons, have you had any bearing issues? You mentioned that you did your first one recently. Yeah, they've been really good. That's, uh, it's only one bearing. Uh, happened uh, yesterday, actually, believe it or not. So I was pretty lucky. I had a spare gang assembly that um, sitting on the shelf and uh, just changed the put the discs on and away I went. It took me an hour to get going again. That's uh, undoing the two bolts on the on the, the head assembly and the sewing tube and away we go. So, um, yeah, I think it took me by myself two days just on the, the workshop to convert it all over and, um, yeah, one man operation and all that was trouble free. The, everything went together as it should as you expect, two bolts and out comes the tine and in goes the, the disc assembly. It, um, yeah, pretty impressed how it works. Would you ever go back to tines? No, no, no. Not for sewing, no. I do have a, I end up buying another one of these with tines for just a, a cultivator. It was the, the other job this machine used to do. Um, but uh, once the discs went on, that's it. They're, they're staying on. Do you find it easier to pull? Oh yeah, hell yeah. yeah um, less horsepower, less fuel. Um, yeah, all the, the positives when you're going into discs. So um, yeah, that's that's a bonus. Overall, you're happy with the discs? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm glad I bought them. Yeah, they really have. Uh, they've been a, a good investment. Is your rye stubble a burnt stubble? I could see that you sewed into it. Or yeah, it was a burnt stubble, but because of the, the rainfall and the extra moisture in the ground, it was sort of probably too wet to, to sew, but I you know, had to do it. You've gone through wireweed? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been through paddocks that had wireweed and just totally amazed with the, the job that's it does. Trash and stuff like that, not an issue, just it's a non event handles everything. How's the fuel usage been? I was using uh, 35 plus litres an hour, 40 litres an hour. What are you using now? And we're using 24 roughly, sort of going up and down a bit. It's about 24 litres an hour. What have you noticed with throw from the discs? Anything I've sort of found with the discs is 
if the moisture of the soil, if it's dry, it doesn't throw it so much. Uh, soil that's just had a heap of rain on it, it'll any disc will do the same. It'll throw a lot more, and then that exposes, doesn't get as much covering on the top of the seed. That's what we say. Just come back and speed a bit when it's wet and tacky. Yeah, so you just slow down. That's all it is. Yeah, you're still getting over it. If you're getting onto the country before a tine will anyway. So you find you're getting on the ground before a tine? Yeah. Yeah, you will. After rainfall, that is. Especially your system with the way the tube is and everything, it's in front of the axle. They don't block up with mud. It's impossible unless you go the wrong way. What kind of soil do you have? Yeah, it is. Oh, there's not quite like, how you I know, say, out west of Griffith, the Banarambar soils. It's sort of heavy grey, sort of clay loam. Uh, clay is out there. It's sort of, this is a, a little bit lighter soil where we are here. So, generally speaking, I can get onto it a little bit before those guys can. Not quite as heavy in the clay content. Well, there you have it, the Ryan NT double discs in action. Until next time, bye for now.